Today, we're going to be discussing the number one mistake new coaches make when it comes to building their email list and how you can avoid it. So in case you're watching this for the first time, uh, watching a live this week for the first time, I am Sade Johnson and I am a tech strategist helping non-techie coaches just like you to ditch the tech overwhelm and finally get more clients with ease in your business. My aim is to help you with the behind the scenes tech. And one piece of that is email marketing, email automation. So email automation is my jam. And I'm so glad that you decided to register for this challenge. So quick recap, if you've missed day one and two, on day one, we talked all about picking the best email service provider for your business. And if you go with my recommendation, that is ConvertKit. If you want to get started with ConvertKit, you can go to shadejohnson.com forward slash ConvertKit. And that is my affiliate link. But when you use that link and become one of my affiliates, you do get bonuses, which I discuss in the lesson in lesson one from Monday. So definitely go back and hear about those um, before you make your decision on what uh, email service provider you want to go with. And then on day two yesterday, what did we talk about? We talked about the top seven strategies for you to use, uh, to build your list. Um, some of them you've probably heard, but I bet you some of them you have not. So definitely go ahead and watch that. So let's see, what is the number one mistake that I see coaches making when it comes to building their email list. That mistake is they're actually afraid to send emails. What? Crazy. They're afraid to send emails. They think, oh, I'm going to be annoying. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to be bugging them or, oh, they're not going to want to hear from me. They're not going to open my emails. I literally have heard these exact words come out of coaching clients mouths that I've worked with. <laughs> and this is a no judgment zone. I'm not judging you whatsoever. In fact, I can actually relate to feeling like that a little bit, even in my own business sometimes. And what happened was I realized, okay, this is actually just a visibility issue for me. It's a visibility issue. And not only is it a visibility issue, sometimes it boils down to you either aren't confident in what you're offering in your coaching business, or you don't have clarity on your ideal client just yet. And so because all of that muffledness, craziness is going on in your brain and uh, blocking you mentally, then that tra transforms into you being scared to actually reach out to people. So we're going to nip that in the bud today. And the way we're going to do that is one, we're going to talk about how you can go about um, avoiding this and what steps you can take. But also what I want to share with you is that when you start a business, especially an online business, you are going to be tasked with stepping out of your comfort zone every single day. And I mean every single day, <laughs> especially if you consider yourself an introvert or especially if you just aren't used to showing up online like that. Like if you just, you know, maybe shared a picture here and there, um, you know, every few months or maybe made a status update every few months or, you know, if you just all of a sudden now are going to be promoting your business and showing up it's going to feel extremely awkward. And I want you to know that that is completely normal. So do what you have to do to work with yourself to dig deep and figure out, okay, what is the real reason why I'm afraid to share my expertise, share my skill set, share my knowledge, and actually help the people that I want to help? What is really keeping you away from that? Everybody's answer is going to be different for your own, you know, your own story. But I just want to share that with you that being afraid to send these emails, it's not going to work. <laughs> it is not going to work. And in fact, when someone subscribes to your email list, that is them saying, hey, I'm interested in what you have to say, what you have to offer, what you're all about please tell me more, <laughs> you know? So in theory, 
or not even in theory, in truth, what's happening is when someone joins your email list and then you don't actually continue to nurture them and send them emails, you're doing a disservice to them because they joined to get more information about what you're all about. And so I want you to just harness that power, harness the fact that you are a coach and you have a skill set that needs to be shared with the world, specifically with your ideal clients. Um, because that's how you're going to truly make the impact that you want to make and truly make the money that you want to make. So we're dropping that mentality of, oh, I'm being annoying. No, you're being helpful. And the magic of emails is that if someone is not resonating with your message that you're sending through your emails, they can simply click unsubscribe. <laughs> And you don't need to get discouraged when someone un unsubscribes from you because that just means, oh, they're not an ideal client. And the whole point of having an email list is to grow your audience full of ideal clients, full of leads that resonate with your message and want to hear more about what you say. So them exiting stage left does not need to be taken personally. It is just a message saying, oh, that's actually not resonating with me right now. Maybe they'll resubscribe later. I've done that before where I was just like, you know what? I'm in a place where this particular message is not working for me, but I still kept that person in mind and, you know, still follow them on Instagram or still follow them on Facebook, whatever. So just don't take it personally. And then other times it's just someone's like, oh crap, I have too many emails. I got to start unsubscribing. <laughs> so just there's so many different reasons. So never take it personally. But you definitely want to nurture. So if you're filling out your um, companion workbook right now, the first question is, what's the number one mistake coaches make? And the answer to that is they're afraid to send emails. No. <laughs> so we've done the work. We've ditched that mentality. And so now we're going to move forward. And I want to share some special statistics that I found regarding this If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my future videos just like this one that I post every Thursday. And if you have a biz bestie that would benefit from this info, be sure to share it with her. I'll see you next time. Bye.